This is Azura's Wrath. This is my hard difficulty video walkthrough. This is chapter 12, Gods of Death. And once again we have a, a nice, subtle little introduction to the chapter as we walk as a armless Azura through this little mountain village. And it wouldn't be anime if we didn't meet somebody that looked like somebody that we wanted to save, and thus we get a lovely nice little contrived plot sequence that leads to us punching a lot of dudes in the face. So this is the first encounter, you've got a bunch of the, the little throwaway guys, the Dynasty Warriors 101 champions, and then there's a fat dude with the double rocket launchers who's firing the, the bubbles of death. So my advice for this fight is to focus on the fat guy. You'll notice the game keeps telling me to lock on. I don't actually like locking on because it generally tends to fuck me, and I'm not a fan of anything that fucks me, unless it's my girlfriend. And the best thing to do with this big guy is if you can knock him up by holding B, when he lands he should be susceptible to the Y technique and it will fill the burst meter. But a couple of things to note on hard difficulty. The burst meter fills much slower than it does on normal and obviously you do take more damage from the enemies so a lot of these encounters do become a, a trial of you know patience and doing performing well over time and you can easily take a lot of damage and die if you get careless and this sequence in particular if I focused on the other enemies that are around me like the dudes that are sending those crazy orbs that, that fire the bullets at you if I focused on th those guys I would die on this fight so I just thought fuck it and I focused on the big fat Buddha guy and it worked a charm because he's the only real person you want to be interested in and if you can do enough damage to him fast enough you will fill the gorge purely based off on your interactions with him specifically so it's not too bad at all as per normal use unlimited mode to, to do maximum damage if you can get it and hopefully the AI won't be too merciful and um, you should be able to get some pretty aggressive attacks coming your way so you can counter them with the Y and before you know it, the burst is filled. Oh, it's not filled. It's, it's getting there, though. It's one of the things about this game. It's it's difficult to tell of any real strategy because once you get down the, the best ways to build the gorge meter, you can pretty much handle most situations. Uh, there are some that are a little bit more tropical, a little bit more exotic, but for the most, it's, it's literally ABC. It's nice and binary, nice and simple. And... Once you've done all the cutscenes and the quick time events, you're going to now be in the transformed state of Azura, which is this crazy, you know, fire armed, laser spewing Dragon Ball Z machination. And once again, we're going to be shooting a bunch of these planes and a bunch of these ships. And the trick to this sequence here uh, is what I do is if you hold X while you're, you're aiming at things, you can keep a constant stream of attacks while you wait for, to, for all your lock-ons to queue. Once you have, I think it's eight lock-ons, you can press Y and you can release them for, for maximum damage. It can be a little awkward on your fingers if you're not used to doing it. It's probably known as like a claw technique, which I'm not the biggest fan of, but it is effective and it will help you build the gorge much faster. A couple of things to watch out for is the missiles that are coming towards you. They do do significant damage on hard and they can be difficult to see because it's, you know, it's practically Fantasia with all the colours and the particle effects that are going off. So just keep queuing up the lock-ons, keep shooting, keep making sure you're safe, build that gorge, use that burst, and uh, once that's done, a couple more cutscenes to show how angry everybody is and how much shouting that has to be done. It's pretty much mandatory in this kind of thing. Then it's just back to the exact same sequence. The only difference now is the bullets are going to come thick and fast. So you'll notice uh, you don't have quite as long to shoot at the enemies, but as long as you keep on top of the bullets and you stay safe, you, you really shouldn't have any issue with this area. And I just got hit by a bullet there, and it doesn't look like I'm, it does much damage. But when you get hit by a barrage, you, you'll really see your life start to drop, so be very, very careful. But coming towards the end of the mission here, just a couple more couple more hits, bars filling up, not really much to say guys, so thanks for watching, and as always, you take care now.